thank you for tuning in to Terry Swoop videos. I have very sad news. The legendary boxer Leon Spinks has passed away after a five year battle with cancer. He was living here right in Vegas where I'm living. And he was a really likable man, really nice guy. And he's mostly known for his 1978 defeat of Muhammad Ali, in which he became the champion of the world. At the time, this was looked at as the biggest upset in the history of boxing because he had only fought in six fights. He was 24 years old at the time, and it's unheard of for a fighter who's only fought in six fights to become the champion of the world, let alone beat the greatest boxer of all time. The 24-year-old Spinks takes on Bobby Smith and in the fourth round decks him. Spinks goes on to record a fifth round KO and a promising career is underway. 13 months later, Las Vegas, Leon Spinks with a record of 6-0-1 is set to take on Muhammad Ali for the heavyweight championship of the world. The odds makers have Ali as the overwhelming favorite. He is a very small man. I didn't think I could beat him, then, then again I didn't think I couldn't beat him because I know I had a lot of strength. Spinks trying to get in underneath that jab if he can. the punishment, hoping Leon can punch himself out. Ali's strategy did not work, and it was clear as the 15th round came to an end that Leon Spinks was on his way to becoming the heavyweight champion. At the end of the fight, Spinks and his corner celebrated as they awaited the inevitable decision. They had taken the title away from Muhammad Ali. Leon Spinks didn't know how to handle the fame and pressure of being the champion of the world because he went from being broke to being rich overnight. And immediately he started partying, he started drinking, he got arrested for drugs, and he didn't take training seriously. So when they had the rematch later that year in 1978, he ends up losing the title to Ali. Because Ali, he trained hard for his rematch and he won the second fight. And after he loses his title, he never recovers that success again. And it's unfortunate because he was very talented. He could have went on to be one of the greatest boxers of all time. If only he would have took his training more seriously and stayed out of trouble, he could have had a great career. But he never really regained the success that he had earlier in his career. He finished with a record of 26 and 17. His brother, Michael Spinks, had a better career. He finished with a record of 32 and one. His only loss was to Mike Tyson. So Michael Spinks had a much better career. But Leon Spinks never really recaptured that success that he had earlier on. After Leon retired from boxing in the early 1990s, he found success as a trainer and motivator during the 90s and early 2000s. But unfortunately, in 2016, he developed cancer. And that's what he's been battling the last five years. And he passed away at 67 years old. He's a longtime resident of Las Vegas. I've spoken to him a few times. Really nice man, really sweet, good-hearted man. He will deeply be missed. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic. Leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Legendary boxing champion and Las Vegas resident Leon Spinks has passed away. Spinks lost a five-year battle to prostate and other several cancers on Friday night. His family was by his side. Tonight, the 67-year-old is being remembered for the great impact he made both in and outside of the ring. He really exemplified the never give up attitude. I mean, every time someone said he couldn't do something, he did it. And it's very rare that you find that. Leon Spinks was born in 1953 in St. Louis, Missouri. He served in the Marines where he found his passion for boxing. In 1978, Spinks made history in Las Vegas where he beat Muhammad Ali to become the world heavyweight boxing champion. He was a 10 to 1 underdog. He was one of the greatest upsets in boxing history and he won a 15 round decision over the greatest. And he'll also be remembered for being a part of the 1976 Olympic Games boxing team, arguably the greatest boxing team that the United States has ever fielded in the Olympic Games in Montreal, and he won a gold medal, as did his brother Mike. 
He moved to Las Vegas in 2011, where he married his wife, Brenda. In 2012, he became part of a study to analyze how boxing could affect his memory. He's only 67. I mean, his his mind was way, you know, older than that, unfortunately. But health-wise, he, he definitely had his battles. Despite his health battles, Spinks always gave time to fans. The year that he was inducted into the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame, uh, Leon actually sat with his brother, Michael, who was also being inducted the same year. And they sat for hours, you know, taking pictures with, with fans. So he actually loved it. He loved to be out there with the fans. Family and friends say this is a big loss to the boxing world and to Las Vegas. He was the ultimate competitor in the ring and out of the ring. In a statement, his wife Brenda wrote, he was a fighter and supreme athlete, a loving father and stepfather, grandfather, husband, and a friend. His final bout was fought with the same skill, grace, and grit that had carried him through so many challenges in years past.